In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. An angel of the Lord appeared and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. also have been visited by angels throughout our lives. I do truly believe that your time has come, my son. I have heard of John the Baptist as well. I was at the market the other day and I heard a vendor at a fruit stand discussing with his friend regarding John the Baptist. It would be best to begin your search there. Many people have attempted to write about the things that have taken place among us. Reports of these things were handed down to us. There were people who saw these things for themselves from the beginning. They saw them and then passed the word on. 
With this in mind, I myself have carefully looked into everything from the beginning. So I also decided to write down an orderly report of exactly what happened. I am doing this for you. I want you to know that the things you have been taught are true. Sorry. Yes? Sorry. Yes? Sorry. Sorry. beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. Long ago, Isaiah the prophet wrote, 
I will send my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A messenger is calling out in the desert. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. You found his whereabouts. I believe he'd be doing his baptismal in the morning, so. Yes, Jesus? I see. I know it is your time to fulfill your mission, but I will miss you, Jesus. There was a man who stopped by earlier saying that he's a supporter of John the Baptist. I guess word got around that you're going to John the Baptist. He's waiting for you at the exit out of the city. And so I tell you, keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Father, suppose your son asked for a fish. Which of you will give him a snake instead? Or suppose he asked for an egg. Which of you will give him a scorpion? Even though you are evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father who is in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Hello, Jesus. Yes, I have prepared some food for you for your journey. You'll need it, especially in the heat of the day. Please take a few snacks of mine. I'm a shopkeeper here, and I'm preparing to set up shop for the day 
so I thought I'd give you some help before you go to be baptized by John the Baptist. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. And this was his message. I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. You can head straight from here to reach John the Baptist. He is by the Jordan River. Sadly, I can't accompany you since I have to get back to setting up shop in the Nazareth market. But please, take care. You should eat the food I gave you earlier so that you're prepared. You can also pick some berries near the river. That's where we get some of the food we sell. coming to be baptized by him. Anyone who has extra clothes should share with the one who has none, and anyone who has extra food should do the same. Even tax collectors came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, John told them. Then some soldiers asked him, and what should we do? John replied, don't force people to give you money. Don't bring false charges against people. Be happy with your pay. The people were waiting. They were expecting something. They were all wondering in their hearts if John might be the Messiah.
The Messiah. I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? I shall do as you say, Lord. I baptize you having authority from God as a demonstration of your commitment to His holiness. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. What are your intentions now, Lord? I see. I know many challenges lie ahead of you, but I know that the Holy Spirit now rests within you and shall serve as a guiding force for you, Lord. If there is ever any use you have for me, please let me know. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them, he was hungry. Blessed are those who are spiritually needy. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Blessed are those who are sad. They will be comforted. Blessed are those who are humble. 
They will be given the earth. Oh, beloved child of God, you must prepare for your trial ahead. You will be tempted and fought by the fallen one, Satan. Repel these blasts I throw at you. Do not worry. They cannot hurt you. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for what is right. They will be filled. Blessed are those who show mercy. They will be shown mercy. Blessed are those whose hearts are pure. They will see God. You notice, I was able to dodge your blasts with ease before. You must draw the enemy closer, so they are unable to dodge your blasts. Blessed are those who make peace. They will be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer for doing what is right. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. During your battle, you may need to recharge. Pray and recharge so you are able to overcome any trials that lie ahead of you. Blessed are you when people make fun of you and hurt you because of me. 
You are also blessed when they tell all kinds of evil lies about you because of me. Be joyful and glad. Your reward in heaven is great. In the same way, people hurt the prophets who lived long ago. You must now use all of this together before going ahead. So use your abilities and combinations in order to repel three of my blasts and strike me. You do know you don't have to go through all these trials, right? I can take care of everything you'd ever need or desire. Come on. Why are you hurting yourself for 40 days? If you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. with anything you could ever possibly want. Come on, tell your angels to come and save you from all those trials. Or are you too afraid to do that? Hmm, why? Tell me only why you want to save all those humans. You don't deserve that and believe me that at the end, they will betray you and kill you. This is your last chance to join me, and we can be the most powerful kings in this world. Well, we don't have to do this the hard way. But if you insist...
All right, you win this time. But I know that my opportunity shall arise again. And I will come again. You will not stop me in this world to take humans' souls. As I said, people who you love will betray you and kill you. I will wait for my time to come. He won this time. But this will not stop me. I will go everywhere in this land. I will go into every city, into every corner of them. I will take my power and spread my darkness everywhere, to all homes. To every human, every soul, I will enter their bodies and put my diseases inside. I will boil their minds and put my demon servants inside them. And then I will go to Jerusalem, to their capital, and will tempt all citizens with my darkness and sins. In such a way, they will stop Jesus and kill him. Ha 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 ha! He can't stop me. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net fish into the lake. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. Now that you have defeated Satan, he has spread his sins and dark energy throughout the land. You must enter into these dark areas and destroy his dark forces in order to proceed. Destroy the dark gems and pray in order to proceed.
do not worry. Don't worry about your life and what you will eat or drink. And don't worry about your body and what you will wear. Isn't there more to life than eating? Aren't there more important things for the body than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They don't plant or gather crops. They don't put away crops in storerooms. But your Father who is in heaven feeds them. Aren't you worth much more than they are? Can you add even one hour to your life by worry? Can I help you? I'm Simon. This is my brother Andrew in the boat. We're trying to catch... Fisher of... men? And just how do you do that? We struggle even to catch fish. We haven't caught anything all day. Okay, we have no other choice or we won't be able to eat tonight. Your power is amazing. I shall follow you, Lord, since I have seen your miraculous power. We shall do as you say. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. 
Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. It looks like the wedding is up ahead. Indeed, it does. It looks like the wedding is up ahead. Indeed, it does. If you do not judge other people, you will not be judged. If you do not find others guilty, then you will not be found guilty. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Hello, Jesus. I haven't seen you in so long. I'm glad you could make it. I, I'm afraid the wedding appears to have a small issue. There's a man who appears to be in need of assistance. I'm not sure what to do. I don't know, but I thought you might be able to help. Oh, 
Oh, hello. I'm afraid we're in a bit of a bind. The people setting up and the people early to the party enjoyed the wine a bit too much. We've run out of wine and the party's about to start. The groom and bride will be very disappointed and I'll be in big trouble for this. I don't quite understand, but I guess I have no choice. I hope you can find wine somewhere. Come talk to me again if you manage to solve the problem. what this has to do with anything, but I'll do what you say. This is wine. How did you do this? This wine is better than the wine we had before. Thank you. Thank you. You saved the day. We must go tell the groom. He must taste this wine. I'll knock on the door. I know he's inside getting ready still. Jesus, I want you to meet the groom. He's getting ready for the wedding. Hello? I'm glad you could make it. I'm a bit embarrassed though. I have gotten word that we have run out of wine. Jesus managed to get us wine. Let's go and try it. It's the best wine I've ever had. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Let's go try it. This one is amazing. What did you do to make it so good? Thank you, Jesus. You made my day even better. Once more he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal officials said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed.
teacher, this uh, Roman official would like to speak with you. It seems like he has a request. Word of you has been getting around the area. Yes, Lord. Yes, I saw it, Lord. The centurion. He was so urgent. Despite him being a high-ranking official, the man's faith was weak, but is now strong. Yes, Lord, I see it now. Likewise, I will spread the word and help you reach everyone. Many will also come to you. Many will be healed and many will see. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday, at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. 
This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee.